What's up everyone, this is Cybernight, and today I'm going to open up the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, movie pack, a uh, Dark Side Dimension special edition for you guys. So yeah, I actually went on ahead and got three of these. I got two of them from Bing Collectibles, and then one of them was actually from Konami. I got that today too, so I was like, you know what, let's just go on ahead and open up all these uh, just in one video, because... You guys, you may have heard about this product. I talked about it when it was announced. I mean, honestly, it's one of the weirdest products I think that's ever been announced for Yu-Gi-Oh! Because, yeah, it's another reprint of the Dark Side of Dimensions movie pack. But it, it's pretty much like the gold edition. If you guys remember, that's like a special edition. Where you get three packs. You would also get two different promo cards. It could be Blue Eyes or Dark Magician, which here, I'll show you guys the back actually on that. Yeah, Blue Eyes or Dark Magician you can get. And then also you would get the Cubic Lord, uh, was it Dusa is his name? And also uh, Crystal Dragon. So those could be the special edition cards you would get, like the promos, right? Well, it's basically that, but everything in this set is ultra rare. So that means even the promos, everything. So you're not getting them as gold secrets. And, of course, the cards in this set aren't gold rare anymore. So, again, it's like a reprint of a reprint. It's a really weird set. Supposedly, these are actually supposed to be kind of tough to find. They're going to be kind of a limited release. So I guess if you're interested in these, get them sooner than later. From what I've heard, evidently, though, they're going to be tough to find. And, in a way, we got a reprint of uh, Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon. I just... If it's as tough to get as it was, then it, I don't really count as a, much of a good reprint. But we'll see. I mean, maybe there's a chance there's some different ratios on these. I don't know. But that's the reason I'm telling you guys up front. It's technically a new product. It was just released today. But it's really not a new product either. So it's just such a weird thing. I don't think we've ever really seen this with Yu-Gi-Oh! It seems like, to me, and I think other people were saying this too, it kind of sounds like Konami had a bunch of these like extra packs and they made a special edition out of it. Which, I guess that's what happened. I, I don't know. It's such a weird product though. But yeah, I thought I would pick up some of these to see... Well, maybe we can get a Blue Eyes alternative? I don't know. We'll see. But if you guys are enjoying the opening, though, either way, uh, let me know by hitting that like button. We'll try to get to 600 likes. How about that? Does that sound pretty fair? So we'll see if that can happen, because you guys have been always meeting the goals, which is awesome. And also subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, opening videos, anything new that comes out, do openings on, whether it's, you know, something kind of odd like this or, or whatever. So if you want to stay updated, subscribe. And also ring that bell. But, uh, yeah, let's just get to it. I still love the artwork and stuff for the packs out of these sets, and I do like this movie pack, don't get me wrong. I like all the cards in it, it just seems like such a weird idea, you know? I don't know if anyone else feels that way, maybe I'm the only one. But first off, we do get Blue Eyes White Dragon, which I love this artwork, it does look amazing. I, I like both artworks too, the, the Dark Magician is really good too. And then we also have, yeah, Dusa the uh, Meteor Cubic Vessel. I thought that was its name, but I wasn't really sure. I'm kind of glad that this is an ultra because it then will match the other cubic monsters. It's a really good cubic monster you want to use, obviously, and uh, I kind of like that it's going to match the rest, so we'll just see. If Blue Eyes Alternative is easier to get, then I can recommend this. Other than that, though, I still feel like Blue Eyes Alternative should have just been in, like, Shadows in Valhalla or Battle Pack or, or Battles of Legend, excuse me, or even, like, Kaiba's Legendary Collection. That would have made more sense. Again, we'll see. Alright, so starting off, we have Induced Explosion. Then Silver Gadget. Well, that's pretty good, I guess. That's one of the better ones. Then uh, Dark uh, Garnex, the Cubic Beast. After that, Celtic Guard of Noble Arms. I still love that. I mean, Celtic Guardian. There you go. And we are ending with Kaiser Vorse Raider. So yeah, like I said, it's the same cards from the movie, which there's some pretty good cards in this too. I mean, like Oracle, Mahad, and uh, Blessed Alternative are probably the best ones out there. And the Cubics, too. You guys have always told me how, uh, or a lot of you out there actually use Cubics. So, if you're missing some of those, I guess that will help you too. I don't know. So, that's kind of fun. It's a good archetype, though. Oh, for a second, I thought that was Blue Eyes Alternative. Wow. <laughs> I looked at that. I really thought we had it. We have a Deep Eyes White Dragon, though, which is still a cool card. It's a Blue Eyes kind of card. So, there you go. One of the forms. <laughs> we have Crystal Avatar. Then, uh, Blue Eyes uh, Chaos Max Dragon. Now, there we go. That's another really good card from this. Actually, really good ritual. Like, uh, I've seen a lot of people using this. The other day, uh, one of you guys actually sent me this uh, through Twitter that you were using two of these and Zark. So, you're my favorite person on Twitter now. <laughs> then we also have, let's see, uh, Endora, Doom Volt, the Cubic Emperor, and then Dimension Guardian. Chaos Max, though, that's actually pretty good. Those have always been kind of pricey. And last one, okay. Well, starting off with Mahad, <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. There we go. I wish we would have got the 20th anniversary one, though, right? I mean, I really want that in English. So, yeah, Paladinium Oracle Mahad, so it's the other version of Dark Magician. Then we have Lemon Magician Girl. Dimension Sphinx. Man, I cannot say that. I'm going to have to edit that because I did not say that correctly. <laughs> Gold Gadget. That's, that will go with Silver. 
And then we are ending with a Blade uh, Garuda the Cubic Beast. So honestly, not too bad with that one. I mean, Noblewise Alternative, but Mahad and Chaos Max, that's pretty good for what you can get from these. Again, it's such a weird thing. Oh, another one of Dusa. I kind of hope we get three of these, to be honest, because I wouldn't mind a place of them as uh, Ultra Rares. So there we go. And then another one of Blue Eyes as well. Well, maybe we'll get Dark Magician the other one. I kind of like all the promos for these. I just kind of want to show you guys in an opening, you know, both promos. So maybe in our last one we'll get the other two. Well, starting off, we got Slifer the Sky Dragon. Uh, I can't complain. You get a god card. I, I know. The only thing that bugs me, though, is that Slifer's in this set, Obelisk is the movie promo, and they didn't make one of Raw. Th that bugs me. Like, seriously, they should make one of Raw. Then we have Clear Karibo, Counter Gates, Dark Magician. Well, we'll get him as a regular card. Yeah, he's still in this set, too. Uh, same with Blue Eyes, but uh, Dooza and Crystal Dragon aren't. So, so you guys know. And then we also have Celtic Guard of Noble Arms. So, not bad. I mean, Slifer. <laughs> I'm never going to complain about getting a god card, so. But again, I wish Raw was in this set or something, too. I want him to have a cool new artwork, too, to go along with the others, you know? Oh, starting off, we got another silver gadget. Whoa, is it focusing? There we go. Okay, make sure you guys can see the card. Uh, let's see, uh, Dimension Reflector, Dig of Destiny, Lord Guy of the Fierce Knight, and, oh, cool, we got the, the Fusion. Uh, Crimson Nova Trinity, the Dark Cubic Lord. Not bad. I mean, it's the fusion for the Cubics, so it's pretty cool. It's like the, I guess, the boss monster, the evil monster of the movie. I assume everyone's seen the movie by now, right? Had it been a year or so since it's even been out on Blu-ray and DVD and everything? If you haven't seen it, you should. It's actually a pretty good movie. I enjoyed it. And, okay, last one for this special edition. All right, so we have Unification of Cubic Lords, a Dark Magic Veil. That's actually a pretty good spell card. Then Final Gas. After that, uh, Metal Hold, the Moving Blockade, and we have Chaos Form. Well, that's the Ritual Spell for Chaos Max, which, again, I remember that card was a little bit pricey. I don't know, maybe this reprint will help it out, but uh, yeah, that's pretty good to get, though. I want another, I want more Chaos cards I can work with that, basically. I think that'd be cool. And, all right, the last special edition. Okay, maybe this is the one that was from Konami. I don't remember which one was from where, <laughs> so maybe it has the Blouse Alternative, right? Would they do that for me? No, they wouldn't. But it would be cool to think so. <laughs> we'll see. Again, if I would feel different even if Blue Eyes Alternative, which, oh, we got Dark Magician, but if Blue Eyes Alternative would have been one of the promos in this, I would feel differently about this set. I, I wish they would have just done that. They should have. So yeah, first off, we did get Dark Magician this time, and yeah, we got Crystal Dragon. So there you go. Those are the other promos you can get. Again, though, Blue Eyes and Dark Magician you can get in the set. Crystal Dragon does a, no, they're just in, like, the, the promos, basically. They're not pricey, though, or anything. But like I said, I wouldn't mind getting just one more of those, so I have a, a play set of Ultra Rares, just so they kind of match the other cards, because I don't mind Gold Rares. I usually don't care, but on some of the movie cards, the Gold Rare looks different to me. I don't know. And besides that really shiny Gold Rare, I'm kind of like, eh, so-so about. Rather kind of use Ultra Rares, to be honest. That's just my opinion. Have Final Gas. Then uh, we have Apple Magician Girl. There's another Magician Girl. Then uh, Vijam the uh, Cubic Seed. Kaiser Vorse Raider. And Dark Horizon, which I love the artwork of that card. That's pretty cool. Place those there. Are they still in frame? Yeah, they are. Okay. <laughs> I'm running out of room. Sorry. I didn't plan this out too well. All right. Come on, Blue Eyes Alternative. Seriously. I don't know if we're going to get one. We have uh, Spiritual Swords of Revealing Light. Hadn't been that long ago, this card was getting some hype, too, so that might be pretty good to get a reprint. I don't know if it was expensive or anything, but uh, there you go if you needed one. Uh, then we have, uh, let's see, Vulcan uh, Dragni the Cubic King. Unification of Cubic Lords, which, man, the name's kind of low on that one, isn't it? <laughs> that looks kind of weird. Then, uh, let's see, Gira Gil the Cubic King. And Dark Magician Girl. Well, there we go. I know this card was tough to get, too, because... I think my first box I got when it was, you know, just the in the actual packs and everything, I didn't even get one of Dark Magician Girl. So, there you go. <laughs> That's pretty good then to get that card. And last pack. Upside down last pack. Okay. <laughs> what are we going to get? Can we get Blue Eyes Alternative? Um, I don't know, man. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be really tough to get. So, we'll see. Heart of the cards, though. Help us out. All right. So, Cubic Rebirth. 
Then we have Gandora X the uh, Dragon of Demolition. That was another card I remember not getting from my first box either, so <laughs> at least I got that one. After that, we have a Miracle Contact Door. Then uh, Metal Hold the Moving for or Moving Blockade. Fortress is the other one. And then we have Dimension Guardian. So yeah, no Blue Eyes alternative out of these. I, I'm just going to guess that it's going to be as tough to get as it was. Like I think even out of the, the Gold Special Editions, I think out of a box you would get about basically one. And that's like ten of these. But again, that's the Gold Rares. So I'm going to guess it's probably about the same with these. But I don't know. So let me know if you guys have had good luck with these, if you bought one of them. Again, I guess it's just kind of a fun thing where if you missed out on the other packs, but it's really tough to recommend these too because I, while I'm happy about a lot of the reprints in these, I kind of just wish they would just reprint them in other things. You know, a lot of the pricier ones like Chaos Max, uh, Blue Eyes Alternative. I, I don't know why they weren't in the Kaiba Legendary Collection. That still just confuses me like crazy. So let me know what you guys think about this set. I thought I would at least get it though for an opening so you guys know, well, this is out. And well, since I do a lot of opening videos, uh, yeah, I don't want to miss out on any of the stuff so you guys can see what's out there. But again, it's tough to recommend, but I guess if you missed out on these movie packs because they are kind of getting pricier and pricier and tougher to get, there's a way you can pick up some of them. But remember too, like I said, I've heard they're like doing a limited release thing. So if you want to get them, I suggest trying to get them sooner than later because I guess they didn't print just a ton of them. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. As always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like button. Helps out a ton. Subscribe for more uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! opening videos. Anything new that comes out, whether it's a reprint of a reprint or anything brand new, you guys know I'm going to do openings. And I do older opening stuff too. Like yesterday, we opened up Hidden Arsenal 4. And that's the best box on YouTube. I, I, that was insane. I'm not going to spoil it. Check it out. Seriously, one of my best openings. Thank you for watching, though. I hope you have a great day. And of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya.